Hi folks, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC. You can reach me at the office at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663 or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. And that's uh, www.bowenboston.com. All right, so this is 111-115 Stratton Street in Dorchester. This is a, uh, a really, really messed up property uh, and we're gonna go take a look at it so uh, the owner of this property also owns a vacant lot next door okay I haven't looked up the uh, zoning on this uh, but the between the two lots if you buy the two lots it's uh, over 9,000 square feet of lot size so I got to check out the zoning on this uh, this is another vacant lot right here and that's owned by the city of Boston okay so there's uh, some possible opportunity here although this property looks like a disaster okay so uh, so let's go take a look at this this is your standard two family that was built you know probably 1910 I would say and this is uh, you know this is another one of these two families another one of these properties that's uh, this is for a uh, this is for a uh, developer uh, I guess those are probably gang signs I guess I don't know <laughs> Uh, anyway, so that was the, uh, this is the living room here, all right, we'll back up, uh, and then that's the dining room right there, so this is one of the worst properties I've seen, it's a complete gut rehab, and that's fine, you know, whatever, I, my guys, uh, contractors and developers, they can, uh, they can take care of all this stuff, okay, it was probably a really beautiful two-family property, when it was first built. Uh, we're gonna go into the kitchen now. I don't even know why I'm taking time to look through all this stuff with you. All oh, screwed up stuff, you know. Uh, but this was probably a gorgeous property. Here's your pantry here. I, I don't know, you know, from, you know, back in the day. Uh, this was probably, this is your back stairs here and that's the basement. Uh, it was probably a really, really beautiful property, but you know how people are. So here, again, it's your standard two family. You've seen a million of them. Uh, that were, you know, a million of them that were, you know, built in 1910 or whatever. So, you know, your bedroom here, this is the rear right on the first floor of the property. And I tend to babble and look at all the stuff. So, here's your bathroom on the first floor. Everything's torn out. It's not even this property. And here's another bedroom here. This property is not secure. I mean, the windows are wide open. I mean, the, the owner of this property... Uh, is just not doing a good job of security. And across the street is the projects. So we're gonna go upstairs. Actually, what are we gonna do? Eh, sorry. You know what, we're gonna go up the back stairs. I haven't tried that door and I'm not going to. Actually, you know what, let's go downstairs first since we're here. All right. I don't even know why I'm taking you down here, but why not take a look? All right, so we're in the rear left of the property. I mean, it's not secure. That window's wide open. I mean, it's just a complete disaster. But as usual, there is money to be made here. Here's your electrical hanging off the wall. Uh, uh, who knows what happened here? And look, wide open. Wide open to the elements. Doors wide open. I mean, somebody's got to spend 3,000 bucks Here's an old oil tank just sitting on its side. Somebody's got to spend 3000 bucks here. Two more oil tanks. It smells like oil down here. Um, we're going to go back up these stairs. You know, somebody's just got to spend 3000 bucks and secure this place. But of course, the owner doesn't want to spend a penny. So, this also has one of those condemned... Uh, uh, signs on it, so whatever catches on fire. This is the kitchen to the rear left of the second floor. Here's your original pantry. I mean, really pretty. Yeah, yeah, these old, you know, people worked hard. And they freaking worked hard for these properties, you know? And look what happens. Here's your dining room. And, uh, Leads over to your living room here. So this is the front left of the property on the second floor. 
and uh, there's your that goes down to the front. That's the front staircase there. All right, so here's a room that is over. This is the bonus room that you'd get on the second floor here. So they, uh, you know, probably put a nice little deck out there, a nice little porch. So this room leads up to the uh, attic. But hold on, let's go look at these bedrooms. The layout's the same on the first and second floor. It's just a little extra bonus room. So same thing here. We're gonna go. We're gonna take a look. Take a look at this bedroom here. Hardwood floors. All the radiators are gone. Somebody probably stripped this of copper and anything that uh, had any value. Then you have your bathroom sink. You know, bathroom is just above the bathroom on the, there's your all-purpose cleaner. You know, uh, this one has a stand-up shower. So I'm gonna assume that both of these bathrooms had stand-up showers. I didn't even take a bother to look at that first floor. But developer's gonna come in here and he'll take, uh, take, take care of that. Here's your uh, left, excuse me, right rear of the property. This is the bedroom back here. They're both decent sized bedrooms. All right, so let's go upstairs to the attic where you have some bonus rooms. And if I were to buy this property, which I do not do, I leave this for the, my developer clients, I'd uh, you know finish this room. Uh, I'd open this right up. Here's your Here's your roof line up here. All right. So, uh, I'd open this right up. They had a little closet here. And then there's this big room back here. I don't know what this was, but it was something. But, uh, you know, that's wide open for the elements right there, back there. Oh, God, I gotta get in better shape. Too fat and too old. Um, and I'm only 38. <laughs> so that's it. The roof, I'll tell you that the, uh, the joists look like they're in good shape. It doesn't look like it's getting any, getting any water right now. And the uh, sheet, well, they didn't use sheathing back then, but the roof boards look pretty good. You know, it looks pretty good right now. This, the roof line looks pretty good. So that's important. So it doesn't look like there's any damage that at this point yet that's going to be too much. All right, so let's go back out here. Let's get some back porches on this. We're not going to go take a look at those. Uh, let's go take a look here. Let's go out the back. So, all right, so the owner of this property, here's the backyard. The owner of this property owns this lot right here, which is somewhere over 5,000 square feet. And as you can see, there are just vacant lots right down the street. And then there are vacant lots right behind the property. Lots and lots of vacant lots. Uh, these are the projects here. These are the Franklin Field projects. Um, you know, it is what it is. So, um, you know, there's just a lot of vacant land around here. And on the other side, here is the vacant lot that's owned by the city of Boston. I haven't figured out who owns all these uh, surrounding lots yet. I just, uh, I'm just taking a look at the property for the first time here, and I'll do some research uh, when I can get in front of a computer. So, but this has got a lot of opportunity, this property here. Um, and that's that, all right? So, thank you for taking the time. Oh boy, hold on. Oh boy. <laughs> thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And again, this is 111-115 uh, Stratton Street in Dorchester. All right, it's a two family. That is all screwed up, and uh, it's going to be good for some developer. Uh, Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate, LLC, 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663, or on the web at www.bowenboston.com, and that's www.bowenboston.com. Thanks, guys. Take care.